Welcome to this look at a new mod map to Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Silly P. I am here on Starzo. This is the new mod map out uh, by Togrim and Zul Narash. 72.8 megabytes to download. Don't let that deceive you though, because there is a ton of required mods. I've put them in the link in the description, but when you download the map, it will automatically download all the mods. We've got cellular, an cellular antenna by DD Mod Passion, decorative details pack by Triangles Trouble, placeable dairy farm package by DMI 20mm 20 mm, 20 Normandy, old farm package also by DMI 20mm Normandy, modern shed pack, uh, cellular, uh, sorry, cellular, cellar by Paisel, EU factories by DMI 20mm Normandy, pigsty by Matthew FS, John Deere dealer sign by Hungry Cow Design, Dutch contractor shed by Dutch Modding Inc, windmill by the Lorts, cow shed pack by DMI 20mm Normandy, additional decoration pack by Paisel and a small horse stable by Bartson V3. So whilst the, mob, the map itself says it is 72.8 megabytes, obviously then there's all the things that come with it, all those required mods. Now, Starzo is a real place. I, I looked up. It says in the description it is. Uh, it's just to the southwest of Miro, the town of Miro, uh, which is just south of Lake Miro, part of the Mecklenburger Schienplatte, I think that's how you say it, uh, the Mecklenburger Lake District, to the north of Germany. So this is a real place. Um, what's impressive, we go on to the map, which looks like that. Um, pretty much off that direction takes you to Miro. Literally just past there is the outskirts of Miro, the town of Miro. The lakes are where they are. That one extends a little bit further, so it's just sort of cropped it. Field shapes are pretty much how they are on the ground, actually. Some bits have been adjusted slightly and some have been tweaked a little bit to fit the map. But the town itself, the road layout and everything exactly how it is. So this is what the map looks like. On New Farmer, we start with the main farm area here. We start with field 28, field 22, 14 and 13. But there are quite a few places around the map we're going to need to buy. Field prices do vary wildly. I say wildly, 160. They're quite expensive, 163,000. Uh, if we go up to some of the bigger ones, one point, well, just over a million. Just over a million. Some of these are a bit lower down, aren't too bad. And then we've got a load of forestry up the western side of the map. There's a little bit dotted around just there as well. So if you want to do a little bit of forestry, you want to dabble but you don't want to dive, you can do a little bit. Uh, and then we've got all these little bits throughout the town which can be purchased. Now these can be purchased for various different reasons. We've also got a plot there that can be and a plot there that can be. So I'm going to put some money in because they're going to be important. They're going to be relevant to what we're going to be doing. But we are going to start here at the main farm area. So slot count on all three game modes is 1,317. And you start with all the same stuff, all the same buildings, all the same equipment. Uh, you do also start with some animals. You'll see as we go around uh, on all three game modes. Now, I did go through and get rid of all the animals, get rid of all the vehicles, and all the buildings I could sell, I did sell. But the other thing as well is because of the dec decoration packs, um, what have we got? The additional decoration package and there's the placeable dairy farm package decorative details pack there are tons and tons and tons and tons of little decorative objects all around the place i didn't get rid of all of those i managed to get the slot count down to 967 you can probably get it a lot lower um, just so you know it can be done you can sell the buildings and things around you not all of them we start here with the sleep trigger on this building here and we're going to whiz around the back here to our chickens this will hold 500. Now on top of the um, required mods that are, that are required, obviously you don't have to have those. If, if, you, if it downloads them automatically and you decide actually I don't want any of those, take them all off, all this will look completely different. There will be none of these buildings here and then you can place whatever you like, of course, that's entirely true. You don't have to have the required mods. Um, you can place whatever you want. But if we go into build mode, there are a couple of things put in by the map maker trying to think where they are they're all required mods so on the end there we've got bunker silo large and that one there both say uh, starzo mod uh, we've got was it under containers there's a water there you go starzo mod you've got a water hydrant there's quite a few of those around the map if we go to 
production and scroll across on the end there we have got a bakery and we've got a windmill on oh, the windmills by the law sorry no the bakery the carpentry and the bakery both starzo mods they've been put in by the map maker uh we've also got i think under animals there's a few bits and bobs yeah there's some there's a cow pasture there's a sheep pasture those will become relevant in a little while you'll see those but uh, and then there's a couple under landscaping um we've got there are some others i'm not going to show all of them but they're all in here you have a look around in the build mode um under painting there's a cobbled one there yeah, we've got cobblestones and various different other bits dirt and dirt dark and yeah a few different textures thrown in as well so 500 chickens there we go through the yard and we'll talk about the machinery in just a moment because we start looking at machinery as you wander through here now I have sped up time a little bit to just past nine o'clock in the morning the shadows are a little bit better before nine they were quite dark and I was going to say in the video all oh, the shadows are a bit dark however um, once time sped up a little bit and the sun came up a little bit more it's not as bad not as noticeable as far as equipment goes then we scroll down to our start machinery we do start with the Lintner Lintrack 130 we've got a class action 870 and a fence 724 variable we'll see in a moment harvester we've we stand in front of the T560. We've got two Rudolph trailers, which are also just over to our side. We've got the header for the John Deere, Covenant Ecomat Plow. We've got a Pertinger Terrasem Cedar. We've got mowers. We've got a GMD 4411 rear mower and the GMD 3123F front mower. We've got a Fanex 904 Tedder. We've got a Shamaj wind rower. We've got a Schrauter marker. A rapid 580v forage wagon we got a feed mixer the silo king front loader equipment or front loader front loader tool we've got a header trailer and we've got some weights so a fair bit of stuff you'll see it as we kind of wander around loads of shelter space again all part of the various different mods available i think i'm gonna grab i'm gonna grab the uh fent i think we'll use that to go around the map does sound nice as well though. We do have a slurry tank extension small just there. First of the cow barns, and we've got three cow barns. That will hold 140. I think each one holds 140. And there are three here at the main farm. We've got a manure heap just behind. The second of the cow barns does have cows in it. We start with 20 out of 140 that are in there as you can see and then this one over here is also 140 but that one's empty so we've got the three there so it gives us what's that 420 cows here at the main cow farm I guess we have then got the NL1622 6000 silo 6 million litre we've got a large silage clamp just to the side here and this is where we look at the first of the buyable places because if we come through here we've got this pasture here which has got cows in it and we don't own that yet so if you just bear with me a minute i'm going to put some money in because i'm going to need to buy some other bits as we go around perfect so if we go back to the map there we are now at this little point here so that plot there if we buy that for thirty-seven thousand one hundred and fourteen that is the cow pasture and we'll get that pop up i think we start with 20 20 out of 30 this will hold got entrance in there so these are here already the cows are already in there until you buy it you don't get the triggers and stuff come up um we will talk about the animals in a while it is a pasture so it's going to require water but as you can see 20 out of 30 if you buy the pasture right next to the cow farm so what you can do is you can take your cows out of the uh, you know if you want to go down that route and go a bit more immersive you can take your cows out of the cow barns bring them out to pasture and you can bring them in and out and that kind of thing be pretty cool i reckon so we'll grab the tractor and we'll carry on round. there is a water hydrant just in front of the silo just there that one that was modded like so there are a few of those knocking around more barn space and then the rest of the equipment mowers tedder wind rower the class and stuff is all there so that's the main farm that's where we start off we're now going to come out of the road now what i will say even if you take out the buildings 
The map itself, I think, for 72.8 megabytes, the level of detail, the colour palette's really nice, the texturing works, I think the level of detail and what's on here, it's not a massive map. And if we go back to here, we zoom out, it's not huge, but I, 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 I really think there's a lot going on. I, I like it. So I'm going to whiz out of here to the windmill. That's the first of the cell points we're going to be looking at. We drive out to here and up around the back here. It takes us up into the windmill. Now, whoa, no. Didn't see anything. Nothing happened. Um, what I will say, this is probably... Out in the field, you might get away from some bigger machinery for seeding, harvesting, that kind of stuff. But for delivery, a lot of the places you've got to get into are quite tight, quite narrow, not a lot of space to move around. So you might not get away with big machinery here. So this is the windmill. A cell point just there. You can buy it, 50,000. And then you can produce your flour and bits of bobs and things like that. This is the modded one by the law. Actually, you know what? I will do it just to show you it. We go into the menu. So, wheat flour, barley flour, oat flour, sorghum flour, corn flour, sunflower flour, canola flour, and soybean flour. We can do loads of different flours. All those different things can be put in, and we can get flour out of the site. So, a little bit more than the regular grain mill for producing flour. If we back out of here and go around. You can see, like I say, the level of detail um, with all the different decoration pack things. Is, there's so much on here. So, down there to the well, southwest, and then up to the northwest is all the forestry. The road we just went past, this one here to the left, that one loops right the way around and up to the top of the map. There's no, no cell points up there. It's, it's just forestry, but the camera's up there. So what we're going to do now is head down to here. Just after here, we've got this kind of little market garden thing going on. It's very cool. These are here already. There are five large greenhouses. We also have a point there for honey, as you can see. There are there's a beehive around the back. Another water point. Through here, this is a buy point for lime seed and fertilizer. And we've got a 33 Langstroth hive sitting at the back here. Now, this is also a plot that we can buy, which is this one just here. If we buy that plot for 33,154, the triggers are all there anyway, but here's the thing. If I go to landscaping and demolish, I can't get rid of the greenhouses. I think the greenhouses are fixed in place, but we can get rid of the beehive. You can't get rid of that either. That won't go. And you can get rid of the, uh, I think the hydrant and the, uh, obviously the honey pallet location one as well. So, all the stuff is here that you need. You can buy your lime seed and fertilizer and you can run your greenhouses. So what should be now in the menu? Oh, that's interesting. Do we have to buy them all individually on top of that? Oh, that could be why I bought the land. Yeah, we've got to buy them. I suddenly thought, that's weird. They're not showing up in the thing. So, oh, that'll be why then. Once you've bought them, so on top of buying the land as well, you need to buy each individual one at 10 grand a pop. Once you've bought it, there we go, that'll make more sense. We should then be able to sell it. Okay. So each one's 10 grand on top of the land price. So I guess you don't actually have to buy the land. You could just buy the greenhouses instead. So, little market garden there. Lovely. Continue back into, we're going to call it a village, because Miro is the town, which is, like I say, that's out to the north um, east. This is more of a village, I think. So, we're going to head east, through the village. Got to keep going out to my left. It is, it's very picturesque. It's a lovely little place. So, which do I come to first? I'm trying to remember. I think it's this one here. Right, if we turn in here, this is a little pig farm. Now, this is where the first issue I've come across happens. So we come back to here. We've come up from there. We've driven along the road. We're now here. So that's showing already two pig pens, pig styes. We've got a, the cellar here as well. 
and we've got a farm of 400, 400,000 need to silo. This plot of land we can buy, 40,000. So I've bought it, so there shouldn't be any issue now with anything. However, both the pigs dies, I cannot get a dialogue box to come up. I've tried, this is <laughs> it's like some of the mods I've been looking at recently as well. I've tried creeping up on it, I've tried sneaking up on it, I've tried going slowly, I've tried looking away from it, I've tried being much further away from it and approaching it. I've tried opening the door, thinking, oh, maybe it's the door trigger that's causing it. That could be what it is, because the door trigger and the dialog box are right on top of each other. These two pig pens will hold 100 each, so potentially 200 pigs, but I cannot get that trigger to work. Now, potentially, you could then say, well, I'll just buy from the animal dealer and have them delivered directly, but here's the other problem. I own the land and the triggers are here, so these pig pens should be here now. If I go into the menu and go down to there, it's shown chicken pasture, the three cow barns, two, uh, two of which are empty, one's got cows in, and the cow pasture we bought. The pig pens aren't showing up at all. They're not on here. So even though I've bought the land and the triggers are all showing, they're not showing up in the animal menu. So I wouldn't even be able to get a direct delivery of animals here. So I'm assuming there'll be an update. I don't know if it's the mod itself, because this is one of the required mods that's the problem. Um, but it's not shown. We do have a mule heap over here. The cellar is a hundred thousand litre. This is also is a modded one, which I think we've looked at before. You can install the chute for taking out. No, for putting in. And we can come around this side, and that's for taking out the conveyor belt for taking out. It's a hundred thousand litre root crop cellar. Very nice indeed. And then, like I said, we've got the four hundred thousand litre farmer four hundred thousand four hundred silo in the corner. So this is technically, potentially, the pig farm. Across the way, we've got the bakery. This is the modded bakery that's been bitten by the Starzo map makers. It's because it's um, slightly different. Country baker. Open the gates and come around the back. Does require water in this one as well. Other than that, it's pretty much the standard bakery. Regular stuff comes in, bread and cake comes out. Um, but there's your bakery. Stuff in the gate, of course I am. Just run that poor gentleman over. I want these to take his arm off. Right, continuing on. The next turning we're going to make is actually, I'm going to stop here. Because I'm going to block the traffic, aren't I? Actually, you know what? Let's go up the road. So, in here, we've got the next little area. There is another water point there, and that at the moment is empty. If we go back to the map, we are now here. This plot can also be bought. We buy this plot for 23,386. We get a sheep trigger pop up. So, we've got a sheep barn in here. Dialog box works on this one. 25 sheep can be put in here. All pallets spawn there, feed trough there. All good. But around the back of the building, now I only noticed this, I was looking at the, the, the um, notes, reading them thinking, oh that's interesting. And as I drove up to finish my quick look around the map, I suddenly thought, hang on a minute, there's a field of sheep, what's going on? Around the back here, we've got a sheep pasture. No triggers shown at the moment. This pasture will hold 75 sheep, of which there are already 25 in here, but we don't own it yet. So this pasture here behind, 35,398, buy that. And the triggers appear. This will require water as well because this is a pasture. And again, you can do the same thing. You can keep your sheep inside, maybe in the winter, bring them out, or even when they're doing lambing, or you know, whatever you want to do. It's entirely up to you how you want to go about it. Dialogue box is there. 15, how many did I say? 25, no, 15 out of 75. We've got five Black Welsh Mountain, five Land Racer, Ben Diamond, um, five Stein Shaft. Very nice indeed. So that's the sheep portion. Continuing on, we're going to go past the crossroads because we'll come back to that in a little while. To our left, we have got the animal dealer. So our animal dealer point is just there. We've got the cell point next to it. That, that is the cell animal trader. So that's the cell point. There are two cell points on the map. Um, well, the one's opposite. So we've got this one here, cell animal trader. And then across the way, we've got the farmer's market cell point. So these are the two main cell points in the town. 
I'll bridge around the back of there. There we go. That's your farmer's market. And we're now going to take the next turning to the right. We're going to head down here. Taking a little bit of the countryside as we go down towards the biogas plant. Now the biogas plant is also one of the ones where you have to buy the land. It's actually, like I say, the map itself is lovely. I, I, I really like the layout. I like the, you know, it's, I mean, I suppose because it's a, again, it's that, it feels like a real place. It is a real place, so I suppose, you know, some of this stuff has been added in with a bit of artistic license, obviously, but the place is real. So biogas plant is here. I did notice it could be a warp point. Did I notice a glowing icon around here somewhere, or did I imagine that? I might have imagined. Oh no, there we go. Workshop trigger in the corner here. So there's a workshop here. So, biogas plant. We've come from here, we went across there, livestock market, farmer's market, and then we came down here. So we're now here at the biogas plant. This plot of land will cost you 90,442. If we buy that, we get the triggers come up for the biogas plant. Fairly standard fare. Let's take those off. I only bought one of them, so. So it will do your regular stuff. Silage, slurry, manure, and sugar beet cut. Um, and cycles per month. Yes, yeah, it's, it's fairly standard. Digest it out, no methane, or anything like that. Um, fairly standard biogas plant with a couple of large silage clamps just to the side so that's the biogas plant now we're going to take a little route round now just to get the, the the map tour to work without kind of hopefully going too much sort of out and back sometimes you have to now back out of here and we're going to take a little country lane again we'll take in a bit more of the scenery as we go it is a pretty map that's probably the best way to put it. It's, yeah, picturesque and stuff. So I've left down here. There are no um, con uh, no contracts. There are contracts available. What am I talking about? Uh, there are no collectibles. It doesn't say there's any collectibles, and there's nothing showing in the menu for collectibles. Um, what was that thing I was going to say? It reminds me very much. I think probably because of the mods that have been used. Of um, was it Gelderland? Gelderland was a map that you had quite a few required mods, and I think some of them are the same packs. Um, so up in the town, it reminded me very much of that. Obviously, the map is completely different, but um, the, the buildings and stuff did. So we are coming up on the biomass plant and the carpentry just in here. Biomass plant, biomass heating plant. And carpentry just to the side there. It's on the map. We come from here, out along that track, around there, we're now at this point here. And we're going to head back in towards the town, village, whatever, take in those two, and then we're going to head out and up towards Miro to the last of the cell points and stuff up at the top of the map. So, what have we seen so far? Vehicle workshop, that'll be. Is that next or could be one before that? But... Uh, so we've already talked about the pigs being a problem. Uh, we have got a horse stable, horse pen, up here, which has the same problem. Uh, there are a couple of horses. It holds five. We've got two in there. Even if I buy the land, the dialogue box doesn't come up. And um, it's not showing in the animal pastures, considering it's already there. So even if I buy the land, I'm just going to pull in here. side so we're gonna start off here so this is the vehicle store trigger just there if we go out to the back here we've got our workshop trigger and this is also the reset point so any machinery equipment that needs to be reset or if it gets stuck you need to reset it we'll reset back to here so that's the ma main machinery shop and vehicle store across the road is where we've got the horses so like I say we'll come in on the map it's that little plot there. So if you buy that for 23,958. Triggers are there. Gates open. All very good. There are two horses in there already. This, Like I say, this does hold five. But again, I can't get anything come up for dialogue box. I've tried again, opening and closing gates. All sorts of stuff. But the giveaway, the telltale for it, 
is if you come back into here again and look down, we're showing the chickens, the cows, the cow pasture and the sheep pasture that we bought, but the pigs and the horses are just not showing in the animal menu. So there's obviously a problem. Um, and we've also got a water point here as well. So, vehicle store and horses. So from here, we're going to head up to the crossroad. Crossroad, crossroads. Turn right, and we're going to head out to the northeast. So this is where I first, as I drove up here, I saw those sheep and thought, hang on a minute. I did not want any sheep in the park, so yeah, you have to buy the pasture. Lovely sweeping countryside. So in the real world, like I say, out to the northeast, if we continue along this road, it's not much further. Maybe a quarter of a mile, half a mile is the outskirts of Miro. So we're, we're just there, really. So a little um, industrial estate, industrial park, just to the right. And in here we have got, to the left, as we go in, the dairy. Just there. To the right, sugar mill. As we go through a little bit further. To the left, the grain mill. And to the right, we've got the oil mill. All clustered together just up here. And that is the map. Now, if we go back to the map. Go up this time. So we've come all up here. We're now up here. So that road round, when I said earlier, so we take the fork, it goes up through the woodland, it sweeps right the way around up to the top. That's the road. There's nothing out there. I say there's nothing out there. There are fields out there. You can get down towards the lake here as well if you want to. Um, and if you want to do a bit of forestry, like I say, there's a whole load down there. But there's also a few little bits dotted around, um, but that will sweep around to the outside. Um, that's the map. That's Stazo by Togrim and Zul Narash. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.